Hi everyone, now in the vise uh, you see this is a, a fly called the Leatherman. Now uh, it's a variant of the original uh, Leatherman. Now they're originally tied by a gentleman from Norway and uh, basically it was a request and uh, when I saw that the original tying was on, on YouTube uh, I thought about well so I, I liked the pattern and I thought I'll tie a, a, a variant, a slight variant of it because uh, it's very beetle like and, I th and so this is a fly I actually tied but uh, as you can see it's a bit rough looking uh, some nylon still on it because I was fishing it just recently in Loch Doon and this was the fly that I actually caught all my fish so I was really glad that I actually tied some this is a size 14 I'm going to be tying it in smaller sizes I, I did tie it um, with a fire on thread so we bit at the back it's probably worth doing uh, as well but I'm going to stick to the original uh, tying uh, that I tied anyway so as it is a variant I thought well I was well showing you how, how I tied it now as, as I say the original one I'll put a link in my video below to the gentleman that ties the, the original Leatherman and he ties a lovely dressing so anyway I'm going to tie this one uh, on the day at lockdown, uh, lockdown that was basically the the only fly they would take. Uh, they did have a go at another one or two but this was the most consistent pattern uh, so it was good fun and I could see a mile away so anyway I used a, the hook, sorry I'll start with the hook uh, this is a full and mill, it's a Czech nymph uh, it's a nice hook, it's a nice it's a medium wire, a standard wire hook uh, that can do dries as well as much as nymphs and so on and uh, this is basically a dry the thread I used was the dark brown uni and i just going to run the wax through it first and then what we do is just quickly run down put a nice layer of thread on the, the shank to the, just round the bend slightly and then I get two large, these are CDC feathers that I've dyed cinnamon to darken them well you can see they're quite dark uh, the, these are natural, these are got nice long fibre this, this is what you get with a natural feather rather than a domestic it's not just as uh, as heavy as this so if you're going to be using a domestic uh, CDC they probably need around about uh, 4, at least 4 anyway uh, to get the amount of fibre you need now to get the length you're looking for what you do is I just roll these or pull these together you want to tie it with the natural curve going up the way and with the natural fibre facing over the back but you're looking for twice the length of the body so you need the same length, you can shorten it if you want but basically when they tied it uh, you're looking for uh, a wing length, the length of the hook and then a body length, the length of the hook so that you tie it in there so you just pull the fibres together the natural curve up, facing up or culling or coming away from the, uh, the hook so it curls away as you see, it curls up the way, that's the natural shape. Now what I'm going to do is I'm just actually going to quickly take it up just to check my length I'm not too long. I actually think I'm a wee touch too long so let's go back. Just a wee touch, not much. Come back in. Three or four turns. Just make sure it's not going to move. Again, we can check the length, I just bring it over the back, that's fine, it's a bit better. Trim away your waist, the length of the body, which is there. Now what I'm going to do here is just quickly take my thread up. I'm using the CDC and the waist to bulk up the body. And come back down. Oops. Keep, I kept it really rough, as you can see in the fly. Uh, the, the fish did really chew up, chew up. So once we're happy, then for the hackle, I use this. This is a furnace hen from Whiten. I'll show you the one. It's uh, just furnace Whiten hen cape. It's a furnace. Now these are lovely long hackles, but they're short as well. If you've just got a normal, uh, even a cock hackle would do. I, I put this basically on for colour obviously and that plus it will help float the fly now, 
But when you tie this in, it, normally you tie a uh, hay and hackle in by the tip. But with these hackles, they're so long, these genetic hackles, you can tie them in at the base if you wish. It's up to yourself. The stems are strong. So I just bear some of the stem with the natural, or the front of the, the hackle facing myself, because I want the hackle to slightly lay back. And then we quickly come back up nice and tight. Don't worry about seeing some of the CDC in the body, I'm quite happy to see that. I mean, you can actually use the waist, some of the, the, the dubbing if you want on the body, but I, I didn't do that. And then I'm just going to get my hackle pliers so you can take my fingers out of the way. And just rub the body, just wind it up. You could palmer it, bringing it down the way, but this is the way I tied it. And there's this, it lasted. So wind up to this point here. Catch it on nice and tight. Trim away. You could use a wee a, a saddle. You could do whatever you like. I just wanted the colour. Now what I'm going to do here is encourage the fibres down either side. I'm just pulling these fibres down. And then I'm going to bring over both CDC feathers. The first thing I'm going to do is make sure the hackle is back here. I don't want to catch any of the, the hackle fibres. Come over the top. And come over with a turn, just two or three turns, just to see how it's going to sit first before we do anything. That's fine. Now, I'm just going to make sure that's secure. Bring, lift the CDC, and then come in front, two or three turns, some varnish on my thread. And what finish now? I'm going to put finish off in the front of the CDC, which will help lift it. Uh, you could finish off at the back if you want. And there we are. That's basically what I did. Trim away my thread. Now the this, this the puffs at the back. I actually trimmed this away. And there we are. I left the one or two fibres there, but that. that It'll just help give it more leggy bits at the back. Just looks good. So I hope you enjoyed that and thanks for watching.